respected uh, rector of the university, Professor Dr. Shirin Amartya, the dean of the Teacher of Science and Technology University, Professor Dr. Prasad Bhajaria, the ISM deans, our professors, colleagues, guests, students, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are here to present a lecture from our uh, distinguished guest from California State University, USA, uh, Mohan Bhagavad Gandhi, who is an assistant professor at the, uh, the Department of Geography and Social Sciences, the uh, Geography and College of Social Sciences. And uh, before uh, I ask uh, Dr. Gandhi to deliver the lecture, I would like to read a short biography of Dr. Gandhi. Dr. Mohan Bhagavad Gandhi, our Coleman Fellow, is an assistant professor of Department of System and Policy at California State University, Fresno. He brings over 30 years of experience in diversity and research growth in developing countries. Before joining California State University, he was a member of the Department of Geography and Environmental Engineering at the Jones Hopkins University, where he worked as a Vice Presidential Fellow. Dr. Gandhi's research interest encompasses across municipal solid waste management, urban growth interface issues in developing countries, water, wastewater, and environmental change in mountain systems, while at the Polish School of Mines and Industrial Renewable Energy, level 3, Dr. Gandhi worked instrumentally in establishing two engineering curricula at the Institute of Engineering of New University and Renewable Energy Curriculum for K-12 in Nepal. He has consistently tackled environmental issues in Nepal, thus completing four projects, instigating five million of this channel between the US and Nepali University, including Tumba University and Katun University. His tasks have been funded by the Department of Energy, USAID, and Environmental Research and Education Foundation. So uh, we are very much proud of our colleague, Dr. Rani, who has been with now here in Kathmandu. Uh, he is living very shortly, but he is living on Monday, but before he is living, so he has given a distance to give a lecture on solid waste, uh, solid waste when in Kathmandu, Nepal, a case of permanent dysfunction. So we are facing a dangerous task of this environment problem, especially the solid waste management, and definitely Dr. Gandhi's presence will help us to encourage our researchers and the colleagues that how we can manage the solid waste in especially the country like Nepal and especially the capital like Kathmandu. So, hope uh, Dr. Gangi uh, will highlight the issue that we are facing day to day. With these words, I would like to request Dr. Gangi to deliver the presentation. And after the presentation, then I would like to request uh, the lecturer of the university to give a response yeah. and then finally... Yes, yes, definitely, yeah. So, uh, okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, so today's program is we have requested uh, the lecture of the university to be the chief case of the program. So sir, thank you very much for accepting the invitation. So now, uh, Dr. Uh, would like to say a few words before his presentation? Or you can give us that. Wait, 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 So then, so we can you request to join the presentation. So the consent of the uh, chief guest, I would like to request Dr. Dhanvi
for household, you know, collection at the house to house. They collect waste at the end of primary collection and they pass into the Kabadis, the scrap dealers, Kabadis goes to Murcian, Murcian, uh, kind of industry, but we process it. Oh, waste is best collected at the container, and they go to transfer station. For the processing certification, then residual waste again comes to the land for deposition. Or if you see some arrow, composition might take place from that point on too. So these are the functional elements of the solid waste map in the world in middle income country of Asia. Now, we are talking about Kathmandu. In the case of Kathmandu, waste pretty much is whatever it is generated. So the picture check in the western end of the city of Kathmandu near Crystal Mountain in 2005, when you see carcasses, construction, demolition was pretty much city wherever they are generated. This is the senior here in Kathmandu. Uh, traditionally, pussy cars, oftentimes middle aged male or female, are engaged in shipping, consolidating, oftentimes with a very minimal personal protective equipment. In some cases, the buffalo is just shoving and hauling the waste in the push cart and taking it to nearby above for deposit. That's very costly with the issue. You can kind of get trust children behind back and working on this one of these facilities. This was the picture taken in Busan to Dervali Square. This was by by Gwari of Jali in the eastern end of the city of Kathman. Uh, from sweeping, there's a collection. In earlier times, we were talking probably carbon, right? One of those sorts of, you know, bar with the two baskets on either end. You know, that's how the waste issue can nearby a book. In 1780, tractors were introduced. This is the case just, you know, this water point is in top one by Asan area. The Kuchikars are loading the tractor trailer as if the tractor trailer is not full. They are planning to move to the next destination to collect further more. And ultimately, they will be heading to the transport station. Uh, if the land is in operation, if the land is not in operation in Kathmandu, this is the picture from Bolpur area, one of the dumping sites just south of Teku, uh, was taken to July of 07. As soon as the waste was brought from Lalitpur municipality, it was certified to not want to escape and it's just bought for uh, to a secondary transport center just to pick up the recycled items, and that's where the piece was taken. And this was a picture taken in February of 2005, I believe, uh, uh, December of 2005, uh, in the River uh, in West End of Kathmandu. The whole of the River was filled with tail. So, uh, if there is no landfill, pretty much waste it wherever it is generated, and eventually it goes to the Stimulator Bar, but it's one of its tributaries. That's where the West ends here in Kathmandu. Uh, if, big if, there is a landfill that's in operation, the waste comes to transfer station goes. Soul transfer station in Kathmandu City. Taking transfer station, get tricycle, big sun, pick up trucks, tractor trailers. That's where the basically all the segregation that takes place and then residual waste from that point is taken to uh, land load. Here one of the secondary transport is in Lego to at that time, Cisco landfill some 20 years clock in the northwest in the neighboring district of New Orleans. This is a view of Valley 2 of Cisco landfill taken in July of 07. Uh, and this is another view of the same landfill. When we are looking for Kathmandu, it was balanced that way. So, supposedly, we are supposed to be brought over here, compact in thin layer as much as possible, and uh, 6 to 12 inches of soil should be applied at the end of the day for the working day to sell, and that's how we bring the next a lot of waste for the next day. But in the case of Cisco, they were trying to buy out any extra remaining burden of the land, so minimum if any soil was applied at then. So I'll talk about the current status of this land later on, but that's how at then waste was handled in Kathmandu. 